Hey guys, so whew, all right. Don't mind my hair. I just kind of I don't know. So basically, getting back from my oldest brother. I have two older brothers. My oldest brother's baby shower. Um, I had coffee because I wanted to drive home, and I just had like a taste for coffee. So I just grabbed some coffee, and I think this is my last time. I say this every time I have coffee, but it just doesn't sit well with me in my spirit, in my stomach. It just kind of makes me feel. It just puts me on ease. So I really need to stop drinking it and. I just have like a lot of weird things going on. Like my family isn't really together. Um, my dad doesn't talk to me, he hasn't really talked to me since March. So it's just weird for me because I saw him today. And I don't know if it's the coffee or my emotions, but like my aunt kind of got involved and like kind of like said that I need to speak, say goodbye to him because I wasn't really speaking to him. And I was just kind of giving him like a sassy hi and bye because it's like, I'm your daughter and you don't talk to me. And it just kind of made me realize like, I really need to do another cleanse. I love my cleanses. Um, it just helps me get grounded and brings me back to me and to my core and what matters to me and my values. So I'm doing another cleanse. Um, it's going to be obviously the four that I always do. Body, mind, spirit. Body, mind, spirit. I'm sorry, three. So gonna be doing i'm gonna try different diets i think i'm gonna try like a juicing diet then i'm gonna try like a vegan keto diet maybe another diet just to like see what i like but i don't like just kind of start to learn myself learn who amira is by myself i want to try different diets um like mine i'm gonna read different books try to meditate more listen to only like instrumentals or jazz or classical music i love jazz and classical music and kind of just when i listen to like other music like trap or and and stuff like that i kind of just get lost and i'm kind of like not living in the now like i feel like i'm constantly in a daze and then i look back like oh snap what i was just doing is now past it's just weird like i just feel like i'm just living in the future and i really need to be grounded and live in the present so I'm also going to be reading my Bible, praying more, just having worships, um, private worships with me and God. So I don't know. I just feel like I need to cleanse and detox. Like, it sucks because like I said, I, I feel like I live in the future. So a lot of things I do, I'll think about it like I should have reacted that way or I didn't like how I, I reacted. I, can't, I could have handled that better, yada, yada, yada. But at that point, the action already happened when I'm doing the reflecting. So I want to get to a point where I notice things I do. I notice my behaviors and things I don't like about myself. And I correct it. And I fix it. So it doesn't happen. It's not a reflection. It's a prevention. So I just wanted to get on and let you know where, let you guys know where I'm at right now. Um, I thought I was going to cry me. Goodness, that coffee really be messing with me and my spirits. But... I feel like this is what I need right now. This is good, um, which is probably why I'm not crying because I need to get connected and grounded with myself, my spirit, and God. So this will be great. Um, I need to start uploading more. So my problem is I uploaded a bunch of video or I have a bunch of footage and content still from the summer. Like my summer vlog series isn't over. I have the of vlogs. I'm probably going to split that into two. I have my graduation. I have my birthday. I have a bunch of things that um, I try to like edit the past things and get that video out. But it takes me forever because I'm constantly working. And when I'm not working, I'm exhausted. So I think that the new videos I have been filming, I haven't been editing editing, and putting them out because I feel like I should put the past videos out before. But I think I might just do both because it's good to like still be up to date and current and then like, hey, this is what I was doing because obviously the time has passed. So I can do both and not just live in the past. See, I'm trying to live in the present, live in the, the now. So I think I'm going to try to do my daily eating, how I feel on the juicing, because I know when I tried it the first time I was hungry, and I'll even do a video about that, my breakdown, what I'm doing with that, um, do a video of me like meditating, what I'm doing to cleanse my mind and my spirit, you know, just keep you guys posted and updated, hopefully motivate you guys to go on your own cleanse or do whatever you need to do to get yourself right and together. 
um i don't know i created my youtube channel years ago like i think i was a freshman when i started and youtube wasn't what it was now um or at least i didn't realize but i'm pretty sure it just it was just different back then i didn't make it to get followers or to get clout or to make money i just made it because there are certain things or a lot of things that I keep in about myself and I don't share with anyone. And YouTube was my way of being real, getting it out. It was my outlet and no one saw it until YouTube kind of blew up. And then my family and friends started like learning about this. So I felt like it was more pressure. Um, I'm not like being on authentically my 100% self and uploading exactly what I want to upload and that needs to stop because this is my channel I don't I need to get back to why I created it I don't care if people don't watch my videos again I'm not doing it I mean obviously like if I'm helping people and motivating people yes I want to do it for you I want to do that to get people everyone needs to find themselves be themselves live healthy and amazing lives but this is for me. I need to have something for myself, which reminds me I need to start painting again. Like, there's just a bunch of things I need to get on the ball with, you know, get things rolling again. So, yeah, I'm gonna go because now I'm starting to think, and then I feel like tears might come now, and it wouldn't be like for a reason. I think I just, I just have those moments where I'll get a frog in my throat. It's not a froggy moment, but just moments where I just feel like I just need to cry. Like it cleanses my spirit sometimes when I just have a good, great cry. I'm a cry baby. I cry about every single thing all the time. But like I said, it's cleansing for me. So, yeah, those videos you got to look forward to. I need to like come up with, maybe I need to try that like powder because I hate when I do makeup and I look oily. Yeah, it's dewy, but it's like, why I look so oily? I don't know. Oh, wow, this became a seven-minute video that fast. All right, I was just chatting. And I like that because I wasn't thinking about what are people going to think or say when they see this video? What are their reactions going to be? No, I was just being myself, being real with the mirror. And I'm excited about that. I don't think I'm going to have... When I feel like I'm not being myself, I have so many edits and it takes me forever to upload because in my mind, I'm like, I uh, don't want this. No, like, I just need to keep it real, keep it funky myself. And I feel like I'm not going to have that many edits on this video. So, 